to begin with, uh, I would like to know uh, how is the um, burden of uh, myocardial infarction in India? No, the, the overall heart disease burden itself is increasing. Although the rheumatic heart disease incidence is going down because of improved hygiene and uh, improved patient education, the incidence of heart disease because of coronary artery disease is going up. Okay. And we are seeing a lot of heart attacks nowadays in the younger population. That's a different mm -hmm. topic altogether to talk. Right. But cardiac sudden deaths related to heart, acute heart attacks mm -hmm. are also proportionally increasing because there is a lack of awareness amongst the people that any symptom suggestive of a heart attack should not be neglected. Mm -hmm. They should immediately rush to a hospital. What the minister spoke yesterday in the inaugural talk was about preventive cardiology. Mm -hmm. If you suffer a heart attack, your heart is already damaged. So, it is not going right to sure. give you service full life as a heart which is quite healthy. And to keep your heart healthy, it is absolutely essential that with the slightest hint that the heart is getting affected, mm -hmm. you must rush to a hospital. Right, sir. So, sir, if you see the create registry data, the average time taken by the Indian patient from chest pain to uh, get admitted in the hospital is around 300 minutes, which is like almost 5 hours. So, how do you feel that what could be the common causes for such a kind of delay and its impact on the overall mortality and morbidity? Yeah, yeah. So, very good question. We always talk in the conferences about the golden hour, 90 minutes. As soon as you suffer a heart attack, we call it, call it door to needle time. If you suffered heart attack, within 90 minutes, if you take the patient to the cath lab, do an angiography, show the artery is blocked, open that artery, restore the circulation, the muscle is preserved. Because we always talk of time is not money, time is muscle. But in order to follow that, the patient has to reach the hospital within those 90 minutes. Now, forget about a situation where there is no cath lab available in the nearest locality. Considering that the patient knows that he has got a heart attack, he is going to reach the hospital. There are situations where the cath lab is not available, we can't help it. Right. There we have to manage these cases in whatever way, mm -hmm. whatever way the medical help is available, whether it's a family physician, whether it's a consultant, whether it's a small nursing home, patient has to take the help. What I am talking about the scenario in towns, cities in urban population, there is a neglect and a fear mm -hmm. about heart disease. As soon as you get chest pain, as soon as you get fullness, as soon as you get perspiration, as soon as you get giddiness, as soon as you get feeling of weakness, you feel it's my acidity because you don't want to face the reality. So you take Eno fruit salt, you take fresh lime soda, you, you feel giddiness, you take a tablet of um, stemital. You symptoms are not relieved, there is a delay. You call your family physician. He takes his own time to reach you. Then he says, okay, I'll give you some injection for relief which obviously will not work, so time is lost. Then you call up the doctor again, he says, okay, okay, now you call your consultant. Consultant is going to take his own time. So again, there is a delay. After consultant appears on the scene, he will say, now ship the patient to my nursing home. How many hours are lost? In order to avoid, I would rather discourage the family physician, ki don't entertain such calls. I will discourage the consultant, don't encourage such calls. Ask them to directly rush to the hospital. It is my dictum that I follow that if I get a call from a patient who complains of chest pain, giddiness, perspiration, I tell them directly go to the nearest hospital since we have the facility. As soon as he goes to the hospital, his ECG is done. Even if the ECG is normal, that doesn't rule out a heart disease, rule out a heart attack. That is also a message to be given. Right. I tell the doctor on duty, wait for another blood report, what is called TROP I. If the TROP I is positive, that means this patient needs under observation. If the ECG is negative and the TROP I is negative, patient can be safely sent home and can be called for further investigations. Yeah. So we have these three categories, mm -hmm. heart attack, which confirmed by ECG, heart attack, normal ECG, negative TROP I can be sent home, heart attack with positive TROP I should be kept in the hospital. Now, out of 100 patients who suffer from any of these symptoms, which are not typical, any patient who has excruciative pain and perspiration, he himself comes to know, yeah, it is my heart attack, so I have to go. But other people neglect and they don't, as I said earlier, they don't want to face the reality, so they delay their admission. Right. 
So if 100 people suffer from any of these symptoms, whether typical or atypical, one person who has truly suffered heart attack, his life will be saved. Even if 99 patients can be sent home from the hospital who will later on complain, oh, I was unnecessarily frightened by the hospital, it was a false alarm. No, right. it cannot be a false alarm, it can be a heart attack which can come later on also. Right, sir. So, sir, uh, we always talk about uh, the responsibility of the patient and uh, the patient education, patient awareness for making uh, the best out of the golden hour. So, when it comes to the physician, how we can best uh, uh, do justice to this golden hour in terms of doing the pharmaca invasive, uh, means adopting the pharmaca invasive approach for management? That is an alternative. When I, when I spoke just now earlier, that if case there is no cat lab facility available where the patient cannot reach within the golden hour, Mm -hmm. The alternative is to get him admitted to a nearest nursing home where at least the thermolytic therapy, what is called clot busters, can be offered to him. Even we advise the referring doctor to give him 300 milligrams of soluble aspirin which will prevent formation of a clot in the artery, 300 to 600 milligrams of clopidogrel which will facilitate the platelet inhibition for me in case I have to do an angio primary angioplasty and 80 milligrams or, of aterovastatin or 40 milligrams of rosuvastatin which stabilizes the atherosclerotic plaque which has ruptured resulting into heart attack. So these can be given by the family physician and there are situations where the thermotic therapy like uh, terapeutic plates can be given in the ambulance through which the patient can be transported to the nearest hospital. So, what you use the word pharmacoinvasive mm -hmm. is an alternative to the primary angioplasty, which is more feasible in our country because of not only the delay in transporting the patient because of because of the traffic, etc., mm -hmm. but also the distance from the patient's residence to the nearest cat lab, which right, may not be covered within those 90 minutes. Right, sir. So, um, I, if I summarize, the pharmacoinvasive approach is the way forward for all uh, STEMI patients, uh, particularly in countries like India, where there are a number of issues in reaching to the hospitals and if the cat lab facility is not available. So, these are the key messages. So, thank you, sir, for your uh, key insights on the prevention of cardiovascular diseases, particularly the CAD. Thank you, sir.